Hey everyone, welcome to chapter 2. Here's lesson 2.1 and your objective. I will be able to write decimals as fractions or mixed numbers and vice versa. So we're basically going to take a decimal and turn it into a fraction. And later on, we're going to turn a fraction and turn it back into a decimal. We'll show you the ways to do that. Let's get started. All right, write decimals as fractions. If you could see, that's how we're starting off. So the way I like to do this is I read this number as 5 tenths. I read the number first. So if it says 5 tenths, I'm going to write that as 5 tenths. Okay? And then we can always reduce. Those have a common factor of 5, so this equals 1 half. And we're done. This one is not 47 tenths, it's 47 hundredths. I don't know if you can see the decimal right there, it's kind of small. But it's 47 hundredths. So how do I write 47 hundredths? It's just 47 hundredths. So if you read it first and then write it, you'll find a lot of success. I know you can only see my hands right now, but if you can hear my voice, that's what you do. Now can these be reduced? I don't think they have any common factors. If they do, please tell me. I don't think they do. And the last one is 283 thousandths. All right? 283 thousandths. So you read it, and then you write it. And then you find out if there's any common factors. I'm going to let you guys find out on your own if there's any common factors there. You can give it a try or not, but you can see. This one did have a common factor. This one didn't. This one, it's up to you to figure it out. All right. So just read it and then write it. If it's tenths, say five tenths. Write it. Forty-seven hundredths, two hundred eighty-three thousandths. Just write it and then reduce. All right, so let's try a couple right here. Now this says in simplest form. Here we go. If I was going to read this one, it would say, you know what, I've got to get in this picture a little bit here. There we go. Six tenths. So I would write it as six tenths. And I know they're both even, so they have a common factor of two. Six divided by two equals three. Ten divided by two equals five. There it is in reduced form. Now we have an interesting one. Nine and fifteen hundredths. All right, so this is going to be a mixed number. Anytime I have a whole number to the left of the decimal, it's still a whole number in fraction form. So I just have to copy down my 9, and I'm done with it. So it's 9 and 15 hundredths. All right, I'm not done yet. Let me go back and do that again one more time, because that's very important. If it's 9 and 15 hundredths, this is a whole number, so I just copy my whole number, and I'm done with it. 9 and 15 hundredths. I read it, and I write it. Read it, then you write it. Read it, then you write it. They both have a common factor of 5. 5 goes into 15 three times. 5 goes into 100 20 times. So my answer is 9 and 3 twentieths. Hi. Are you having a lesson? Yes. Sorry. Good, uh, a few minutes, please. Thank you. All right. So now, when I go to C here, this is 375 thousandths. So I have 375 over 1,000. Now, these larger numbers, you're going to have to reduce as well. All right, so tw if I know I can count by 25s. Fives can definitely go in here, but let's think about 25s. Because 25s always go into numbers that end in two zeros, 25, 50, or 75. So I know 25 can definitely go into 375. 25 goes into 100, four times. It goes into 200, eight times. 300, 12 times. And then three more times, so that would make it 15. All right? And 25 goes into 100 four times, so it would go into 1,000 40 times. Now, it looks like I'm still not completely reduced because they still have a common factor of 5. 5 goes into 15 three times. 5 goes into 40 eight times. So, 375 thousandths becomes 3 eighths. All right, now we're going to the second half of the lesson. This is a pretty big lesson because we had to go from decimals to fractions. Now we're going from fractions to decimals. All right, there's two ways to do this, but I'm going to stick to just one method today. And it's called the divide method. All right, 
all you, if it says nine twelfths to turn it into a decimal, it is simply nine divided by twelve. Nine divided by twelve. So you take your nine and it's divided by twelve. Okay, that's it. Nine divided by twelve. Now ask yourself, can twelve go into nine? Well, no, it can't. So I'm going to have to have to annex a zero here and put my decimal and see how many times 12 can go into 90. All right, 12, count by 12s, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, and that's it. So it goes in seven times. Did I do that right? Let me count again. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, that's right. So seven times, always check yourself. You minus that and you get six. Looks like I have to annex another zero. All right, how many, I bring that down. How many times could 12 go into 60? Well, we just did that. 12, 24, 36, 48, 65 times. There you go. It is 75 hundredths. So nine twelfths equals 75 hundredths, which equals 75 hundredths, all right? There we go. So it's called the divide method. All you have to do is divide the fraction. And it looks like a division problem right now. 9 divided by 12. Same thing with a mixed number. All right? We know it's going to be 1 point something. Because this is a whole number as a fraction, is a whole number as a decimal. So I'm done with the first part. Now, I just have to divide 3 divided by 8. So I take my 3 and I divide it by 8. 3 divided by 8. 8 cannot go into 3, so I'm going to have to annex a 0. But 8 can go into 30. How many times? 8, 16, 24. 32 is too far, so just 3 times. So I get a remainder of 6. I have to annex another 0. How many times can 8 go into 60? Well, 8 times 7 is 56, so 60 minus 56 is 4. Guess what? I have to annex another 0. Hopefully, I'll be done soon, or I'm going to have to start rounding. Bring down the 0. Oh, perfect. 8 can go into 40. How many times? You guessed it. 5. And there's no remainder anymore. So, oh, what did I forget to do? I forgot to bring my decimal up. So, 1 and 3 eighths is really 1 and 300, I'm sorry, 375 thousandths is my final answer. I can't forget that original one. If you just wrote 0.375, that would be incorrect because, because don't forget, we have that one there. All right, one and 375 thousandths. So to replay that real quick, it says write fractions and mixed numbers as decimals. If this is a mixed number, I have my 1, and I'm done with that piece. I can cross it out, just like I did when I went from decimals to fractions. Now I just have to divide 3 divided by 8, and when I did that, I got 375 thousandths, and I was done. All right, now it's your turn, I believe. You have four problems for me. All right, try your best here. Write each decimal as a fraction or mixed number in simplest form. So you're going to turn these decimals into fractions. All right, so you're going to read that as 4 tenths, and then just write it. And this is 2 and 75 hundredths, so you know what to do there. Then write each fraction or mixed number as a decimal. Just divide, 27 divided by 75. Over here, you know what to do with that 3, you're done with it, and divide 1 divided by 5. And you'll be all set. All right, we'll see you soon. Good luck. Bye-bye.